just thought I'd check in with you again. This is our next stop off. His original stop off, as park up for tonight, was absolutely chocker. So anyway, we've come up the pass and we've come across this. If you can hear water, this is why. Look at this. And it goes all the way to the top. It is quite busy at the moment. Obviously I haven't got the camera on my back, I've come for a bit of a scouting as such. But when that sun drops down, I'm coming back over here. It's mostly still being shared then. It'll be easier to compose. But if I'm careful going across here, I'll show you where we are. Obviously, soon in the Lake District, it's been careful where to put my feet because I want to show you this view. So I've got quite a few options here. I'm just going to turn you around. That's the next view we've got. So I'm going at the top of there as well. And I'm also going at the top of here. <laughs> so after this um, trip in the Lake District, I'm going to be absolutely buggered with all this walking and climbing and stuff. So yeah, I think for sunset tonight, I think you might go at the top of there <coughs> and just check it out because you've got all these ridges as well leading you all the way down. I don't quite know what this valley is. I think it, I think it could be Newlands Valley. If anyone knows what this valley is, just put it below. I've got no books with me, no phone signal, no nothing. We just followed the road up and that was it. And it was a bit sketchy as well in the van. So it looks quite busy at the minute, but I've got a nice flat spot there ready for tonight. So once we've got sorted out with compositions and that, and I've had a little scout round and a wonder and this sun dips down a little bit, I'll come back to you. But yeah, I just thought I'd check in and let you know what's happening. Right peeps, been back to the van, got my camera gear with me. I've had the drone up, I've just taken it straight up here. So I'll show you a bit of drone footage while I get up to my first composition. So yeah, enjoy the footage. first one and I'm focusing on this little swirl here so it is quite hard because there's a bit of patch of light coming right across here so I've got three filters on I've got a polarizing filter on to sort this area here I've got a three stop ND filter on I've just slow that shutter speed down a touch and I've also got a grad just to try and sort that top out it's yeah the top might get cut out let's say, but this is working quite nice. The various shutter speeds from a third of a second up to like three seconds, just so it all swirls and all that's tumbling down like it is. But yeah, what a waterfall this is. But I will work this a bit more. I will try and probably get an image just up here with these rocks and this coming in from the right hand side, which I think is the next one. And then we'll go a bit higher and see what else can come across.
Hey, peeps, just another couple down here, just with this rock formation and this leading you up and onto it. But I'll leave you with them, because it's time to go up. Right, scrambling time. As you can see, a bit of a rock face here to go up to get to the top. That's the top of the falls just there that we're taking the image of last time. But look up here. All this up here. Sometimes you see little trees as well. So yeah, let's try this way. It's a bit steep, this one. But look at the views. You're only going straight down the valley. So yeah. Time to find a composition. So, when I get my breath back, I'll come back to you. Peeps, with his first image. Right underneath it, looking straight down the valley. I haven't got a clue if this is going to work or not, because I'm getting absolutely fish wet through here. So, I'm going to try and get back over there so it was a bit safer, then take another shot looking down, and then I'm going to make my way back down. So, this is quite high up up here. Right, peeps, I've got you on sort of a, an FPV as such <laughs> because I ain't walking and carrying you down this. So I'm trying to get to the other side now just to get that valley view. So, yeah, something a bit different for the change. So, I am being extra careful where I put my feet now because some of these are green, mossy. There you go. Under the falls, look up, say hello. <laughs> so yeah, going over this side. Let's say, uh, being extra, extra careful down here. My feet are gonna get wet, but they'll dry off later on tonight. I'm gonna do that hike. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get on here. Just get this looking straight down there. So yeah, I'll come back to you in a bit. Uh, I'm just trying to find somewhere to put my bag. I have to rest it on here. There's no way actually dry, dry as such. But get this tripod settled first. And there's a little fall just here. So I'm going to try and get in. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have a go. Right. Let's get the camera out. Be being careful on here. Because this is absolutely green. Green, green. So you can guarantee it's going to be flippy. So, right. Hands and knees job. I've got the polarised on just so I can doubt, get the glare off this. But. This is going to be, and have to be a bracket as short as this, big time. So I am bra I'm just bracketing it now. Someone else just got in this bloody shot. So yeah, the bracket is working on that one, but it's not to be fine with that. So, I just work for this guy. He's wondering how the hell I've got up here. <laughs> and like I say, you gotta be you gotta come climb it! Only way up. So all the way up is that edge. But it's very, very dicey. It's very slippy. So like I say, competition is got this little folder enough, coming straight down straight up that side there so I think when I go back I'm gonna go around the back of this rock up the other side then up and over the top and down on the grassy bit 
then I will take an image then of looking down. So yeah, this one now, what I've just captured, I'll bob on now for you. It will be bracketed because the dynamic range to near and over there is absolutely huge. <laughs> so quickly show you behind me. There you go, got that one earlier. I have just taken a panel as well in that corner of it all sweeping round with that rock because it, it's like a pointed, it's like a knife is that. So I'll bang these two on for you while I try and get back up there. So yeah, I'll come back to you in a wee while. <laughs> Peeps, we're off. This is the one we're doing for sunset. So, as I keep saying, and you know me by now, I don't walk and talk going uphill, but you can guarantee with the steepness of this, it's like Dale Head, I think. Short, steep, so you can guarantee be a couple of stop offs along the way. So, when I do, I'll get you back out, I'll show you the view so far. So, yeah, onwards. And up as we go. Here we go. It's starting to get a bit of height. Ooh. Some nice shadows not on there, look. But we're kind of going. I'm going to make a point. I'm not getting the camera out until we get to the top. So let's keep going. Wasn't wrong about this. This is short and steep. What the hell? But yeah, that's the view. Where well, we're going up in the morning, I think. Unless this one looks epic at the top, then we'll come back up here. <laughs> Go on for punishment. Whew. Let's keep going. Whew. Look at this now. Absolutely majestic. Shadows, contrast. Oh, it's just getting better, isn't it? Whew. I said I'm going to get a camera out, but I could be tempted with these little outcrops here. Just see what I can do with it. But then again, I'm going to wait till I get to the top. There we go. What a view that is. But to me, a crumb a quarter in the distance. I think it's time for some time for some long lens shots. So it does come down. You're getting the orange glow as well behind us. So take a few shots here. Then we'll carry on walking round onto the top. Uh, taking a couple of shots there, and I've tried to do a pano all the way across as well. So. If that's worked out, I'll bob all these on for you now. I'm going to carry on on this ridge line to see what we'll get looking down at the other side. That's if I get that far, if I get a view, then that's where, that's where we're stopping for sunset. So yeah, let's carry on. off the path a little bit saw this little pile of stone that I thought might be a little cairn or something but yeah the views are all right from here aren't they it's yeah it's looking promising as well some wispy eye cloud so yeah we'll go back up we'll go a little bit further on the ridge like I say so far to this cairn 
It's taking me half an hour. Pushing it a bit. But yeah, set off from the van at quarter past seven. It's now quarter to eight, so yeah, it's not too bad at all, really. So, still the one in the morning is just like that. <laughs> Let's get back to the top. There we go. That's the view we've got. I've set off the composition with these rocks in the foreground. You got the, the, the lakes and that there. I think that is um, Crummock Water. But to me, it's just down here. So we're just hoping now that sun will drop. But for the time being, I'll be doing a few um, long shots, intimate shots with the fields and that down there with the trees coming across, tops of the trees and the fells in the background there. So yeah. While waiting, I'll bob these up for you. Chaps and chas chapesses, you've probably just seen a bit of a time lapse going there with the sun going down. We have getting the sun reflecting now in the far lake, as you can see. Being a bugger to sort out. Filters, no filters, bracketing, just to try and get it right. So either way, I'll bob it on, but you've got shafts of light coming down the valley this down side here. Just catching little pockets here there. I'm hoping all that line there is going to catch with them clouds above it so got some cracking clouds look above here just nothing over that side so we'll see anyway see how it pans out but i'll start and put some of these images on bit by bit in between so hopefully this um twin sun worked out see you in a bit through the fields of our paths Feelings always keeping us close, but it's strange now. Dreams holding us closer. Meadows of our youth, a hundred and seven days. But recalling it backwards, our dreams holding us closer. Have another time lapse going there, but just look at this behind me. The fells are now starting to catch, and we are getting that pinky orangey ready glow. I have taken an image of this one here as well with these weird clouds all coming in to the top of it, which look pretty nice. I'm going to keep an eye out on that, but unfortunately, there's no clouds at that side, they're all down here, all just catching. But we'll keep an eye on it anyway and see what happens. I've taken a few images so far on F22 and stuff like that, just to try and get the sun star and about F8, F11. But the Buttermere Pines down there are just starting to reflect, look. But there's a massive concert or something going on down there. So, yeah, Buttermere will be absolutely heaving. <laughs> so, yeah, for the time being, I'm going to take a few images of these behind us, this mountain range here with them clouds above. Right, 
peeps. That's your lot with that last uh, time lapse. But just look at this side. Clouds over that side are starting to catch. So someone somewhere is getting quite an epic one. Just at this side here, just happens to be there were no clouds this time. But yeah, look at that. So what I'll do, I'll put the last images up I've got now. I'm gonna head here, head, well, I'm gonna head back. So I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and give us the old thumbs up. So as I say, every little helps. So I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now. Ooh.